We all at one point or another have considered what it would be like to have superpowers, to be able to fly or leap tall buildings at a single bound. While I don't see anyone becoming a mutant and joining the X-Men at any time soon, I do see the possibility of someone using a suit such as the Iron Man suit and doing some extremely cool stuff. This all came into my mind while watching the trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp and I got even more interested in making this video when I saw the trailer for Infinity War. Just keep in mind that we're nowhere close to making the new Wakanda model of the Iron Man suit. While the first trailer has nothing to do with Iron Man also known as Tony Stark, it did bring the idea to my mind of how close are we to actually making an Iron Man suit. We're gonna be talking about the practicality of making an Iron Man suit and the tech involved with this, so it's gonna get a little bit fun. So this video is going to be broken down into three parts, attempts to make a similar suit, attempts at making individual parts of the suit and how much would it cost to actually make an Iron Man suit. So there have actually been a few attempts to make completed Iron Man suits, but while none of them have actually been able to launch anyone 100,000 feet in the air, it does show that it can be possible if worked on hard enough. In 2017, a post showed an example of this. The man in the suit is Richard M. Browning, an ex-Royal Marine Reservist too, is inspired by doing things which have not yet been done. The concept in and of itself is actually a pretty cool idea and the parts function very well together. Once enough power can be focused on individual parts of the suit, you would be able to lift off the ground and gain some form of stability. One key thing to note though is that this does take some level of skill and training your muscles is required to use this suit for long periods of time. According to him, the suit can fly in most locations, despite being capable of flying at several hundred miles per hour and at thousands of feet, his normal operation still sees him flying at no more than a couple of meters, it's better to be safe than sorry in this case. His attempt though is one of the most notable as of recent in developing this concept. Another example of someone putting the Iron Man suit concept to the test is this one where a device known as the Flyboard Air was used to get a tester to actually fly pretty fast. Clearly the subject is hovering a good distance from the ground with a max altitude of 3 miles and moving at very high speeds of up to 155 miles per hour. Obviously, it would require a bit of practice before being able to master this, but it does once again prove that it is indeed possible to create something that would function similarly to an Iron Man suit. Yeah, I can fly. While doing my research for this video, I found a very awesome creator on YouTube who does stuff very similar to this. That person is James Hobson of the YouTube channel The Hacksmith. On his channel, he makes imagination a reality, from creating a real life Captain America shield to a real Thor hammer. But one of the most notable build series on his channel is his Iron Man series. While it is not his most popular, what he does is indeed something that would attract attention. For a few of these projects, he worked with others like himself to get the final version done, but nevertheless, what the final version turns out to be is nothing short of spectacular. He once managed to get an entire Iron Man suit, which while not having all the functionality of a real one, did actually look pretty accurate and would possibly become a functioning suit if paired up with the other Iron Man gadgets which he has either made or helped make. One of the gadgets which he made is a propulsion system, and that brings again the idea of flight similar to that of Iron Man to a reality. While some parts of the propulsion system may be a little bit too bulky to put in a regular Iron Man suit, it would still be a good concept for version 1 of an Iron Man suit. While not getting into the specifics, it's clear to see that these functioning parts for thrusters can indeed be used to lift him up a considerable height, and if paired with any of the previous tech which I have shown in this video, the perfect propulsion system might actually be able to turn into a reality. He was even able to show a pretty cool Iron Man rocket launcher device made by one of his friends. Again, while still just a concept, the rocket launcher itself could easily be embedded into a real Iron Man suit and maintain functionality. But still, it was a really cool concept and if used by someone who knows what they're doing, this could actually be really useful. 
Another notable piece of gear which was featured on his channel was a super cool Iron Man hood. This was developed by a few college students and it worked better than just a concept. It worked through a Microsoft HoloLens headset and managed to project a hologram using the headset that would function in a similar way to Iron Man's hood system, technically anyway. There were a few bugs in getting the system to fit properly into the headset, but if developed far enough, it could become an extremely useful device. I could see members of armies around the world using this tech to help with depth and distance measurements, or even just being useful to people working in construction sites or projects where this kind of tech is extremely useful. I designed this to come on, so... Ow! Hey! What's going on here? Of course, all of this is really cool, but the fact of the matter is, that it's not going to be cheap. All of this costs hundreds of thousands of dollars just as prototypes, and upon doing a little bit of research into this, a rough estimate for the cost to build a completely fully functioning Iron Man suit would be anywhere from 1 to 10 billion dollars, maybe even more, and a lot more money would need to be invested in maintaining this suit and training the individual or individuals who would use it. It is possible to make an Iron Man suit at this point in time, but that will require a lot of research and a lot of investment. But that's it for today's video, a bit of a long one but if you stuck along for the ride, then thank you. I have one question though, what do you think of the possibility of making an Iron Man suit at this point in time? If you have any thoughts about this, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, learned anything new or want more, feel free to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is released. Leave a like and also again comment your thoughts down below. If you're feeling generous and want to help this channel out producing better content, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. One dollar goes an extremely long way. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I will be seeing you in the next video.